Hey everybody, welcome. Today we're going to be coloring Kevin, You're My Pot of Gold. Uh, perfect stamp for St. Patrick's Day. So I've got them already stamped up. And today we're going to be coloring with Uhuhu markers. So we're going to start with his skin tone. And for his skin tone, we're going to keep it nice and simple. And we're going to be using the Uhuhu markers in R29, R19, and WG0.5. So we're gonna start with our darkest marker and that is our R29. And we're gonna start by going along that hairline. And I accidentally went into his hair, but that's okay because we're gonna be coloring over that anyway. And I'm gonna go down into the cheeks and into the top of the ears. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna color his hands right away too. So we're just adding a little bit of color in there as well. And we're gonna put a little dot into his nose and a little bit of color to the right of his neck. So next we're gonna be using our R19. And we're just going to go ahead and we're going to follow that same line, going slightly over it. And we're going to come down, and this time we're going to go right across the bottom of his face. And I'm going to go around the eyelid here on both sides. And then you go over that nose a little bit more, into the ears, a little bit in the hands, and again into the neck area. Then I'll be going in with my WG 0.5 and we'll be just filling that skin tone in. So I'm just going to bring this color right around the eye just to keep that white spot open. And then we'll fill in his ears, his hands, and the rest of his neck. Just want to go over everything just to make sure it's all nice and blended. So we're trying to keep them nice and easy to color today. Don't go forget he's got a little thumb in there too. <clears throat> so next, after his skin, we're going to actually go back in with our darker color, our R29, and we're just going to color in his tongue. So then we're going to move on to his hair, and for his hair, we're going to be using Y5, Y10, YR170, and YR170. R240. So we're going to start with our Y5 and we're going to be using our brush nib and I'm just going to flick up in the sides just a little bit. And we're going to come in off these points. And then we want to come from the top of his hair too. So we're going to come in right here. And next we're going to move on to our Y10. And we're going to bring that up. 
from the color that we've already put in there, just a little bit. Gr girls, no, no. <laughs> Those are my dogs. Sorry about that. So for our Y10, we're going to go to our YR170. She heard someone come to the door. So she's being protective. So we just keep on coming out from where we had already colored. And you can see we're beginning to start to meet in the middle. So we've got very bright, kind of ready orange copper hair. So next, our last color is YR240. And we're just going to fill in the rest of the hair. And if you wanted some of the color to be deeper, you can extend some of the darker lines if you wanted to. Now, what I like to do is I like to go back in with my darker color usually at the end and just add a little bit more definition, a little bit darker. So I'm going in back in with that Y5 and I'm just going to add just a couple more. Little lines in there. There we go. So just added a little bit more in there. So we've got his skin colored, his hair colored. Now let's move on to his, let's go do his suit. So his suit, we're going to be using GY43, GY42, and GY8. So we're going to start with our darker color, which is going to be our GY43. So here we want to be careful because we don't want to get those coins. So I'm going to color right above them. And then I'm going to go right over the bottom part of his jacket in the arms here. You might just realize that's more of his hand and I kind of forgot that. So let's go back in and we'll pop that in right in here. So I'm just using the R19 just to fill in his little hand spot there. Because how, somehow I missed that. So we're just going to come up the side of his lapels a little bit. With that darker green. Now we're going to go to our GY42. Our GY42. And we're going to start to color over what we did and we're going to bring it up and into those arms and then we're going to end off with our GY8 And we're just bringing that color right back down. And then I'm going to go over the bottom part of his jacket again. So then with the GY8 on its own, I'm going to add just the GY8 into his sleeves. Now, for his lapel, we're going to use 
GY3 and GY4. So we're going to make it nice and bright. So that was GY3, and now we're going to go in with GY4 right at the top, just to make that a little bit brighter, and then bring it down a little bit into those lapel pieces. So now we're also going to use this color on the clover. So we're going to use that GY3 and put that into the stem. And I'm going to go just on the outside of these clover leaves, of his little four leaf clover. And then we're gonna fill it in with our GY4. So now we're going to do his little bow tie and for that we're going to be using G4 and G3. So I'm going to start with G4 right at the bottom, I'm going to fill in that middle part, then I'm going to grab my G3 and we're going to add that into the top. So this little leprechaun here likes to wear a few colors. Now for her shirt, I'm going to just use CG204. So again, we're just keeping it nice and simple. So now that we've got this colored, we're going to go ahead and color his hat. So his hat, we're going to do the same color as his outfit. So we're going to go back in with that GY43. And that darkest color we're going to just put down here at the brim of his hat. And we're going to add just a little bit under the buckle here and on the inside. And then above this little hat line here, this little band on the hat. And we'll go up the side and we'll go over his hat just a little bit that way. So now we're going to go in with our GY42. And we'll go ahead and we'll color it in a little bit more. We're going to add that color right up into just above that little notch line there. And then we'll go ahead and add our green right in here and then come over a little further now. Then we'll go in with our GY8 and we'll finish off this bottom part of the hat. And I'm just again filling in what I had not colored yet. So I'm just trying to give that just a little bit of dimension and texture there. Now for that little hat band, I'm going to go ahead with my GY4. And there we have the little hat band. Now for the buckle, I'm gonna use Y270 and Y260. So we're starting with that Y270. And I'm just going to use that right on the bottom of this buckle, kind of bottom half. And then the Y260 right into the top of that buckle and then bring it down. 
So you can see how this is going pretty quickly. So Ahuhu markers, I find if you want to get a card done quick, they work really well. Um, they blend really nice. So I'm pretty happy with that. So let's move on and let's start getting our little pot of gold colored. So the pot of gold, we're going to be using CG070, CG5, and CG204. So we're going to start with that CG070. And we're going to color right under this first coin here at the bottom. And we're going to fill that right in. And we're going to bring our color right up the side of the pot. Not quite to the very top. And then we're going to come out from our coin. So we're going to just come from the top of this coin and then just round it out. And we can just put a little bit right in here. So there we have our CG070. So next we're moving to our CG5. So it's just a little bit lighter. We're going to go around that coin, and around the top coins now. And from here, we're going to start the just from under that rim here, and we're gonna slide it right across. And then we can go ahead and fill that in. And I'm just kind of bringing it now down into that darker color. And then it'll be our CG204. We're starting at the top, and then now I'm going to bring it right down. For everything I've already colored. And I'm just kind of using the side of my brush. And then we're going to go right around here. On that little rim line right there. So now we've got our pot of gold all colored. So now we're going to color each of the gold coins and we're going to be using Y2 and Y3. And to keep it nice and easy, we're going to go ahead and color every coin first with our dark color, which is our Y2. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start at the bottom. I'm just turning around, making it easier. And then color that bottom little rim of these coins. So just try to pay attention to what is a side part of the coin and what is a top when you look at them. Sometimes it can get a little tricky. And you don't have to be too, too perfect because we are going to be adding the lighter color and that'll help blend everything in as well. I think we have all the edges done of our coins. I'd love to have a pot of gold this big, I can tell you that. So now we're using our Y3. And we're going to go ahead and we'll color in all the tops. And here... And I apologize, I think my light might be flickering a little bit, so I apologize for that. And you can do a little blending here too if you want. And I'm going to fill in underneath here too, because I imagine this is all filled with gold coins. So 
because I don't want it to be shadowed. With dark in there. Well, I think that was pretty quick and easy to get this entire image colored up for us. So let's go ahead and cut them out and then we'll put them on a nice background. All right, so I've run him through his die cut. So now I can see the size of he is once he's cut out. And I've decided I'm going to use this Norse stencil from Stamp Anything to create a background. But what I want to do is I want to put a layer of green first. So I'm going to use the Ranger Distress Oxide in Twisted Citron. And I want to ink up the entire back because I kind of have, I have a plan. We're going to see if it works out. So I'm just going to really ink up this brush. And I've got this tape down. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to add some twisted citron here. And then on top of the twisted citron, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to use a little bit of squeezed lemonade as well. So I'm going to use some of that squeezed lemonade. I promise there is, there is a method to my madness. All right, so I've got this nicely inked up bright background. And then I'm just gonna let that dry just for a moment or two. So we've given that a few moments to dry and now I'm gonna do something a little kooky. So we're going to lay down our Norse stencil and we're gonna get it nice and secure because I really don't want it moving around on me. Gonna decide how I want this to be. How about like that? Wait, we're gonna move that up a little bit. So I really want to make sure I get kind of all the edges here, and then I really get this card covered. Um, everywhere with this stencil pattern. Now I'm not sure, sometimes I'd like to cut down the um, background so that I can put a border on it and still keep it in A2. But in the meantime right now, I wanna make sure that I get like everything um, nice and covered with my little experiment that we're about to find out. Will this work together? So Stamp Anything was at a show last year, and I am bad, maybe one of you might know, but I got this um, metallic gilding polish, and I just thought it was so cool. And this is Bright Sunshine Gilding Polish, and it's got a lot of shine. And then I also have the Simon Hurley Solar Paste in uh, Golden Hour, and I was like, do you know what, Let's, I want to try them together. So. Let's see how this turns out. So I'm going to use a little bit of that um, solar paste first. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get it right on my stencil. And then just kind of bring some of it over there a little bit. And let's call that done with the solar paste. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of wipe off my palette knife. As you can see, it comes off really nice and clean. 
Then I'm gonna use some of this metallic gilding polish. So we're, we're gonna give this a try. So you can see it's gotten really nice and bright, but I just thought for this pot of gold kind of card, I'm like, hey, why not? So I've decided to use this, like it does come with like a sponge brush applicator, but I thought, eh, you know what? Let's just, let's make the most of the tools I already got in my hand. Kind of already seen this color. I think it's kind of looking awesome. So we're just making sure I get that everywhere on this stencil. And I'm just gonna kind of scrape it over some where I have that solar paste as well. So you can kind of see here, I just want to make sure I get all that excess off. So, the moment of truth is about to happen, but I think what I'm going to do is just leave it for maybe about a minute just to kind of let it sit and because I'm not sure about the drying times of both. So I'll give it maybe about a minute to sit and then I will lift that off and we'll take a look and see if my little experiment worked. All right, the moment of truth has arrived. Let us take a look and see if I have created something cool or have I created some kind of monster. Ooh. All right, let's peel it back. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that looks so cool. Wow. Okay. I'm like super impressed right now. I'm going to let it dry fully because I don't really want to touch it. But oh my gosh, the shine and the colors on here are exactly what I wanted. Like, let's just take a look. Let's prop him up over here just for a second and see like, oh my gosh, come on. That's going to be cool. I'm so excited. All right. Let's go ahead and let that dry. So while that dries, I've decided we're going to be using the sentiment, uh, you're my pot of gold. So I have this piece from our beach builder set. So I cut it out from hammer mill and I inked it up with some scattered straw and mustard, sprayed it with water. So we have that distressed look. So what I decided to do is for that background, I want him to be sitting on it like this. So that's what I've decided to do. So we're going to put this right here. I'm just using our my little mini Misty. And then I'm going to kind of just figure out like, okay, where would I want him to sit? Kind of in this card. And I think like probably something like that looks. Hold on. Whoop. Got an extra magnet in there. So I think something kind of around there. So I probably want my sentiment to sit, I think right there for your My Pot of Gold. So I'm gonna go ahead, close that up. Just make sure we got it there. I'm gonna ink my sentiment up real quick. And I'm going to use my stamp tabulous stamping tool that I got. So I have this beautiful butterfly one. I love it. So I'm just going to make sure I press down and get that ink on there. And there we go. You are my pot of gold. Looks perfect. And it'll be ready to go on to our card base. All right, it is time to assemble our card. So what I'm going to do is I did cut this down. So it's all dry now. And I think it looks awesome with that shimmer, with that solar uh, paste and with that uh, gilding polish. I think it looks so cool. So I just cut it down a little bit just so it would fit onto same, just an A2 um, card base. And I picked this nice dark green. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to attach my sentiment 
to the bottom of my card and just kind of figure out where I want this placed. So I think this is a good spot for it, just a little bit above. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to adhere it with double-sided tape. So this is our own double-sided tape by Stamp Anything. So sometimes I like to glue, sometimes I just find it easier to tape things down. And you can see I'm not taping to the edges because I am going to cut the edges um, off. So I don't want them to overhang on my card here. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to peel that tape off. And we're going to go ahead and we will adhere that to the bottom of our card just like that and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just turn it around and just gonna use my little cutter bees and we're just going to take off those excess edges just like that so it fits on nicely and then we're gonna place it onto our card base and now I am gonna glue it down for this just because I like to have a little bit of play um, I don't like when I use tape and then I can't move it and then I'm like oh is it off center like what did I do so we're just gonna get our glue ready here so I'm just gonna go ahead I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue and this is the stamp anything glue and it's just our two ounce size right here so there we go I'm gonna get this over here I'm really loving the colors of these, this card and how it's coming together. Like, I love it. I think it's so cute. So here we're gonna take uh, my, my little self, my little Kevin, and you know me, I love my pop dots. I wanna get give this card a little bit of dimension. So we're just gonna pop little Kevin up on this card using pop dots. Now you could just glue them on or whatever, but I'm like, nope, I want, I want some dimension here. And you know what? I love my pop dots. Do I overuse them? Uh, maybe, maybe, never know. I'm going to say that's a, that's a, it's a personal choice. How many you like to use? I know some people are like very, very sparing with their craft supplies um and they're like oh no you're going to use like this much tape this much glue this much paper and too and i do save my paper scraps and all that but like when it comes to pop dots that's like something that i'm like nope i'm like if i want to put 15 pop dots on there i'm gonna put 15 pop dots on there i actually don't know how many i put on this card we're just we're just winging it all right so now I want him kind of over a little bit more of this rounded part, but just slightly off center as well. And here we have it. Ta-da! All right, you're my pot of gold card. I think it turned out super, super cute. I hope you enjoyed following along with me today for this full card tutorial using some Ahuhu markers, some solar paste, some gilding polish, and some distress oxides. It's been super fun, and I just love this little stamp, and he's still available in our store with his stamp and his outline die. So thank you for joining me, and happy St. Patrick's Day.